hi hello viewers so today uh, i come up with a one small concept like there is a attribute called flags that if we applied in the uh, enum there is something is uh, going uh, getting the different result see here i have a same enum uh, with the spad 1 claps 2 uh, diamond 4 and hot 8 the same thing with the flag uh, shoot flags with the different enum so the same thing i'm just uh, using our operator i'm returning this result i'm just writing the console so we'll see uh, it written the different results uh, before that we'll go and see the result first so let me go write this see for a string uh, str1 it's written 7 and str2 it's written the spad comma diamond okay so here so here we know uh, uh, that uh, normal enum uh, once we uh, declare like that it will calculate uh, whatever the enum that we represent in our operator it will be calculated and it will return the result that is what it's returning but here it's something it's different in the using the flag attribute okay normally the flag attribute it uh, uh, it uh, tells us that uh, once you set the flag uh, it will be returned whatever the entry as a collection so if you want to be a enumerable uh, so if you want to return the data in a collection format so uh, you you can go with the flags if you return like that it will be in the array structure in the collection structure like spad comma diamond so whatever the uh, data you can hold the multiple uh, values by using uh, or by achieving by using a uh, flags so this is the uh, help of uh, flags in the enum so here there is uh, some uh, scenarios that uh, it will help out uh, by achieving this so normally we uh, know that we can we can't hold the multiple uh, values so uh, in the enum so uh, by using the flag we can hold the multiple value that how we going to achieve i will show you okay so i told that by using the flag we can hold the multiple values so we'll see that uh, real time example so i just go on to create the instance of first i trying to um, create the switch instance okay shoots something like shoot equal to i just uh, uh, trying to pause this two values uh, here okay it's uh, written me the error because convert implicit is okay mm. okay so type is different okay i just uh, take the shoot flags okay i'm just created so it's uh, uh, holding my two values in a uh, by uh, comma separator if you go for uh, shoots uh, how this will be saving the record that also uh, we'll see shoot on something like this okay okay if i will keep the breakpoint we'll see now step over see it's have the sum uh, of, of five total it will be uh, save as a single value as a five okay here how it is uh, saving see it's saving as a uh, both spats and diamond it holds uh, both the value but here it uh, it has a single operator so you now you got the difference so if you pause this it will be written uh, in a single value but it will hold a multiple so for that main purpose the flag is going to use okay fine okay no issue so next uh, next level how to uh, how to find uh, whether it has the flag okay so by using if operator i'll take okay you can use the hash flag if it is uh, contain 
shoot okay if it is contained just try to Okay. If uh, something mm, okay, like uh, clubs, Anyways, uh, this will be cl clubs. Okay. Nail section. no problem yeah it will be solved the issue so let's uh, go and run now okay now shoots have different shoots have uh, two uh, multiple uh, enum called spats and uh, okay let me go skip the steps okay now shoot have the spats so it's uh, going to return me the spats next level see now uh, I don't have the clubs key so it's uh, returning uh, me the else condition not clubs okay so this is a way spats it's not a spad see it will return the directly the enum spad uh, text okay guys so this is a way uh, to get uh, get the hold the multiple value and retrieve the multiple values by using the flag operator so thanks for watching the video guys if you have any doubt queries please comment us